For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in one in whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? How can they preach unless they are sent? Lately, it seems that every time I pray for missions or missionaries, there's this common picture that keeps running through my mind. And it's a picture of a missionary, and he's standing at the bottom of a mountain. And as he stands there, he's praying up this mountain. And he's praying for a group of people that he's never met before. And his prayer is simply this. God, find a way for me up this mountain so that I can share Jesus with them. This next Sunday, May 31st, we're going to be selling boxes of cookies following the morning service. And we're selling these cookies to raise money for Speed the Light so that these missionaries may find a way to, to reach these people groups that they're trying to get to. But we're also hoping that through this we can possibly impact our own community as well. Our students have come together and on these cookie boxes they've written scripture. They've written encouraging words of hope and of love. And we're hoping that through this we can flood our own community with the love and the hope of Jesus Christ. I've been giving to Speed the Light for six years now. As you know, Speed the Light is an organization that provides vehicles to those missionaries who wouldn't be able to reach certain areas without them. So they need our help. Over the past years, I've given enough money that I could have bought myself my first car. A high schooler, junky car, but a car nonetheless. But instead, I sent it along with a pool of money sent also by our youth group, and it went towards saving souls. And the reward is so much greater. We know he's supposed to become greater and we're supposed to become less. And sometimes that means our pocketbooks need to become less. You'll hear it once, you'll hear it a thousand times. If you can't go, send. And that's so important. I'm hoping you will consider buying a box of these cookies, not only for yourself, but maybe for one of your neighbors, maybe for the waitress that serves you your meal every Sunday after you go to church, maybe for the gas station attendant that takes your money as you pay for your gas. Maybe God's speaking to you someone right now that could use some hope, use some encouragement, and it's so easy to ask, what good can one box of cookies do? But can I say to you this, one small thing placed in the hands of God faithfully can make a huge difference. As we look around this world, we see a lot of darkness, a lot of trials, a lot of hurting people. And we as Christians, sometimes we like to say this phrase that I think might make us feel better. We say, well, God's got the whole world in his hands. But here's the thing, we are God's hands.